Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 19. Bienvenidos a la clase número 19. So we're going to start in a moment. Okay, so here we have Gilberto. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. And how are you tonight? Uh, perfect, teacher. You're perfect. Okay, nice. It's Friday. Do you have to work tomorrow? Gilberto, do you work tomorrow? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, nice. And we also have some others at the night. Here we have. Okay. Um, Gustavo and Adonai driving. Good. Good. Hello, good evening, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. And how are you? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. Sí. Okay. Carmencita, good evening. I guess. Good evening, still... teacher. Okay. So how was your day? Um, great. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, we are 18. So we're going to uh, start. Um, we, have, we have Gustavo and Adonai driving. They are moving. Okay. I guess you have some problems. The rest of the... So, um, before we go with the class, with the question, here we have this. Here we have the, the vocabulary practice. So we have, uh, we're going to practice some of the topics that we have studied, algunos temas que hemos estudiado y todo eso. And also uh, remember that we are in class number 19. So the first question, the first question is, would you like to be famous? Te gustaría ser famoso? Yes. Because I would like to travel, and you can say some other uh, options, okay? No, because I don't like to be famous, or I don't like money, or I don't like uh, what? I don't like that people look at me. Well, hay muchas razones. So, uh, here we have, um, what about Carmen Cita? Good evening, tell me. Would you like to be famous? Yes, no, why? No. No. No famous. Okay. Why no. not, Carmencito? I don't like to famous because uh, we don't want my to be public. Okay. Very good. You don't like to be like in a public. Okay. Or, or you don't want that people know. Okay. No te gusta que la gente como que te reconocía. Right? Good. No. Thank you, Carmencita. What about Ivania? Hello, Ivania. Evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. To you. Yes. How are you tonight? Fine. Fine. Okay, nice. Tell me, would you like to be famous? Uh, yes. Ah, because nice. I like, Why? Because I could like to visit many countries and share with more famous people. Okay, very nice. Yes. Remember that people that are famous people usually have money. So you can travel. You can travel and meet some other people, famous people, right? Go like actors, actresses, and yeah, and a lot of things. Okay. Nice, Ivania. What if we we'll listen now to Elby? Tell me, Elby. Hi. Mm, no. No, why no? No. Because I like to be me. You like to be yourself. Me. Okay, like like a normal life, right? Yes. Very, with no with no extra problems. Okay, so that's it. Good. Nice. What about Luis? Good evening, Luis. Good evening. Okay, so tell me, my friend, would you like to be famous? 
Mm, ok, Luis. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchas? Ok, I guess no. Creo que te estás teniendo problemas, Luis. Ok, let's listen to Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan, good evening. Hello. Yeah, teacher. Ok, Hello. tell me, would you like to be famous? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I would like to be famous. To be famous because there are well con person in the world where I'm taking never many friends. Okay, good. Yes, you can make a lot, a lot of friends if you're kind of famous. Okay, thank you. Okay, what if we listen to Luis? Hello. Ahora me escuchas, Luis? Todo bien? Pero que no. Okay, okay. okay uh, let's listen to Soyli. Good evening, Soyli. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, very fine. Yeah, you are better than yesterday. Está mejor que ayer, ¿verdad? Yes. That's nice. Yes, <laughs> you look here? good. It's, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday you were like, mm, ayer estabas así, de batería baja. Now you are different. You look different. <laughs> nice. Okay, Soyli, would you like to be famous? No. Why no? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't like. Okay. Um, because, uh, Why? Because the pen is uh, one a person humble. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, yes, it is important. I'm sorry, it's with H. Humble. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you, you can be humble. You can have like a normal life. You can go to the supermarket, to shop, and the people like normal. But if you're famous, people are looking at you. They like taking photographs and a lot of things, right? So it's like not a very calm life. No es una vida como tranquila. Exactly. Okay, good, nice. Luis, por tercera vez, ¿me escuchas, Luis? Hello. Good evening. Good evening, okay. ¿Tienes problemas con internet? O fue la creo que sí, creo que sí. Okay, so tell me, Luis, okay, your answer, would you like to be famous? Okay. No, because I don't like lost my friends. Okay. Yes, it is very common that uh, famous people lost their friends because they have a different lifestyle, different estilo de vida, they have more money, you can have to travel, yes. There are different reasons, but it is very common. Okay, thank you. What about Gilberto? Hello, Gilberto, tell me. Would you like to be famous? Yes. Yes, why? Yes, because I would like to appear on national television playing the piano. Okay, very nice. You would like to be famous, appear on TV, national television, playing the piano. Yes. Very, very specific, very nice, yes. Después te vas a creer. Okay, thank you, Gilberto. <laughs> thank you very much. Nice. Uh, what you about, teacher. you're welcome. Uh, what about Henry? Hello, Henry, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Okay, how are you? Good, bad, so-so? Bad. <laughs> okay, but remember, it is Friday, my friend, come on. Fridays, Fridays are nice, los, los viernes son geniales, come on. Even sometimes we have to work on Saturday, tenemos que trabajar los sábados, I know, but. It is almost Sunday, casi eh, domingo. Okay, Henry, eh, would you like to be famous? Uh, yes, no, why? No, because. No, because I don't like to be fine. Because you don't have a keep life. Yes. A quiet. You don't have a quiet life. Imagine you're famous, you go with your kids and people start like 
taking videos, photographs, or people uh, uh, ask for, yes, for the signature, uh, piden autógrafo, or people say hello, and you want to be like relaxed, quieren estar relajados, mm -mm, it's impossible, right? Okay, very good point. Uh, now, let's see. One more. We're going to listen, well, no, later. Okay, some of you want to be famous, some other don't want to be famous. So it depends, depends on the interest or depends on the likes, depends on the gusto, the interests, and that's very common. Okay, my friends, um, vamos a ponerle feeling ahora. Recuerden, en la penúltima clase, el lunes terminamos, that's good. Ways to introduce someone. Uh, we started this yesterday, eso lo vimos ayer, okay? I'd like you to meet. I like you to meet Carl. He's a cashier. I want to introduce you, Monica. She's a waitress. Have you met Nancy? She's an accountant. Okay, so she's an accountant. Okay, so here we have some of these uh, uh, phrases to introduce someone. I consider this is a really important. So let's practice again. Vamos a practicarla de nuevo. Pueden mencionar a otra persona. Por ejemplo, I'd like you to meet Jessica. She is my supervisor. O algo así, ¿verdad? Intenten, intenten presentar a un compañero de trabajo. Okay? That, that uh, colleague, ese colega, that colleague can be in your same position. Puede estar en su misma posición. Uh, he or she can be the supervisor, the manager, he, he or she can be your boss. So I need you to mention a person in your company. Mencionen una persona de su empresa. It is, um, uh, she's a, he's a kind of accountant, uh, he, he's a manager, whatever, okay? So in this case, we're going to start with Soily and then Luis, okay? Think about the person in your company. It is not necessary to be here. No es necesario que esté aquí en esta, en esta clase. Okay, Soily, your turn. I did like, okay. I'd, I'd like you to meet. Aquí tengo que cambiar nombre, ¿verdad? Yes, you have to mention a person in your company, una persona de, de tu empresa, una compañera de trabajo, okay? Okay, hmm? okay. I did like to meet um, a Fatima. She is a um, student. I want to introduce you. Eh, esta es otra. Solo una, Soyle. Ya veo que andas piluda. Tranquila, relax. ¿Quieres abarcar todas? Solo una. Ok. Thank you. Ok, Luis, and then we go with Carmen. I'd like you to meet Edgar. He is a boss. Ok. Oh, he's my boss. It can be like that. Good. Carmencita, and then Ivania. Ok. Uh, I want to introduce you, uh, Rebecca. She is my uncle and is uh, a tit. Okay, good. Ivania Gilberto. I like you to meet Catherine. She is art designer. Okay, good. Gilberto Elbi. I like you to mix Elena, a manager of impression. Okay, good. LB and Henry. I like you to meet um, Rosa. She is a cashier and okay. um, secretary. Good, cashier and secretary, good. Henry and then Jesse. Uh, the like you to meet uh, Julio. He is parks manager. Good, very nice. Thank you. Yesenia, que te me escondes. Apareció Yesenia. Okay, hello. Good evening, Yesenia. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Very well. Very well. Okay, that's nice. Okay, Yesenia, <laughs> select one of these and talk about a person in your company. I want to introduce you, Sonia, she is an accountant. 
Okay, nice. Sonia, and she's an accountant. Jonathan, yes. your turn, and then Douglas. I I like you to meet you, uh, Ernesto. Uh, he is supervisor. Okay, supervisor. Good. Douglas and then Jose Martinez. I'd like you to meet uh, William. He is an electrical engineer. He is a very, a very good person. Good. Very nice description. Okay, Jose Martinez, are you over there? Yes, I hear. Please, my friend, go ahead. Hey, are you driving? No. Oh, okay. So tell me, select one of these and mention a person in your company. Uh, how you meet um, Lea? She is an um, engineer logistica. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, engineer in logistics. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, Adonai, are you ready? Ready. Okay, Adonai, we're talking about ways to introduce someone and mention a person in your company. Go ahead. I'd like you to meet Jeffrey. He's a manager of production. Okay, good. Very well said. Bien dicho. And what about... Uh, Okay, good evening, Emmanuel. Everything okay? Good evening. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Emmanuel, we have three forms to introduce someone. Select one and mention a person in your company. Okay, like are you ready? Carlos Yara, okay. Or my supervisor. Okay, nice, perfect. Now, my friends, uh, besides this, we have some other things. Tenemos también algo más. Tenemos estas dos frases. Eh, si se dan cuenta, dice, I want you to marry me. Quiero que te cases conmigo. Es bien raro, ¿verdad? Porque aquí, I want es querer. Entonces, entiende como que dice, te quiero para casarme. Así se entiende, pero realmente es I want you to. Cuando ustedes dicen I want you to, significa quiero. Significa significa quiero que tú, por ejemplo, I want you to present the report. Quiero que tú presentes el reporte, ¿ok? I want you to present Sabemos que want significa querer, pero cuando le dice I want you to, no significa te quiero. Quiero que tú, ¿ok? I want you to come early. Quiero que vengas más temprano. I want you to stay extra hours. Quiero que te, quiero que, que te quedes en las horas extra, ¿ok? Entonces, para tener claro eso, ¿verdad? Pero si alguien solo le dice I want you, Ahí se les está diciendo que los quiere. Solo I want you. Pero si les dicen I want you to clean your desk. Quiero que limpies tu escritorio. I want you to uh, to yes to, to, to present. Uh, oh, I want you to send emails. Quiero que envíes. Quiero que tú envíes correos electrónicos. Okay. So that's it. Es, es importante que copien eso porque no, normalmente nos perdemos cuando escuchemos el I want you to. Ok. Tenemos otra. I'd like you to. El I'd like significa I would. Solo que es una contracción. ¿Se dan cuenta? Se, quitamos la W, la O, la U y la L. Solo queda la D. Ok. Es una contracción. I'd like you to, me gustaría que tú, ok. I'd like you to uh, send emails. Me gustaría que tú envíes correos. Eso es cuando, when you are going to, you are going to give instructions 
or you're going to receive instructions. Cuando van a dar instrucciones o cuando van a recibir instrucciones, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Por qué estoy explicando eso? Porque si se dan cuenta, en las primeras dos formas para presentar a alguien tenemos, I'd like you to meet, I want to introduce you. Entonces, para que no nos confundamos, ¿ok? So, si les dicen, ah, bueno, como les explicaba, I want you to present the report, I'd like you to send emails, ¿ok? So, uh, be careful with this uh, kind of phrases. So now you have an idea uh, how, uh, how to say it. Muy bien. Tenemos otras palabras. Whatever. Fíjense bien. Whatever. Pueden decir whatever, pero no es muy común. Es mejor en, en inglés americano es whatever. Y abajo tenemos wherever. Fíjense cómo lo utiliza. Lo utilizamos mal. Yo he escuchado que a veces le preguntan, por ejemplo, le dicen, Ivania, eh, ¿dónde vamos a comer? ¿Vamos a comer pupusas o, o, o vamos por pan con pollo? Y la gente dice, wherever, dice. Wherever, ellos quieren decir lo que sea, pero lo que sea se dice, whatever. Yo he escuchado muchas personas decir eso. Entonces, ¿qué quiere? Eso es, ah, wherever, dicen. Pero wherever es donde sea, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si, ah, ¿quieres pupusas de queso o revueltas? Ah, whatever, dicen. No, es whatever. La gente... Utiliza, utiliza malos anglicismos. Primera, whatever. La segunda, wherever. La, la tercera, whoever. Whoever. Ok. Whatever. Wherever. Whoever. Ok. Creo que es vocabulario muy importante. Y la última, instead of. Significa en lugar de, o como nosotros decimos, en vez de. Les sugiero que la anoten. Esa es bien... bien son de las palabras que ustedes dicen, ¿y cómo se dice esto? ¿Cómo uno no hay a decirlo? ¿Ok? Instead of. Instead of. ¿Ok? Instead of. ¿Ok? Whatever, whatever, whoever, instead of. Vamos a practicar estas, las que están aquí abajo. Gilberto, select one, and then Carmencita. Whatever. Good. Carmen Adonai. Whoever. Okay. Adonai, Ivania. Whoever. Good. Ivania, Elvi. Whatever. Nice. Elvi, eh, Henry. Whoever. Okay. Henry, uh, Douglas. Whatever. Good. Douglas, eh, Emmanuel. Instagram. In okay. Instagram. In Okay, nice. Whoever. Eh, vamos con Emanuel, creo. Yes. Please. Eh, whoever. Okay, whoever. Good. Yesenia and Soily. Instead of. Good. Soily, Xiomara. Whatever. Nice. Hello, Xiomi. Hello. Good evening. Instead of. Instead of. Good. Instead of. Eh, perfect. Luis. Whatever, whatever. Okay, perfect. That's nice. Thank you. Now, here we have ways to say nice to meet you. Forma de ser gusto en conocerte. The most common phrase is uh, nice to meet you. Okay, esta es. La más común es esta. Ah, se están conociendo. Mm, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That's the most common, but you, you're not going to say just the most common phrases. You can use some other options, okay? Very nice to meet you. ¿Verdad? Very nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Que esta normalmente se, cono se dice cuando alguien ya le ha dicho gusto en conocerte. Ah, gusto en conocerte también. Tú significa también. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Okay, pleasure. Y hay una canción de, de Bruno Mars que, que se llama Treasure. Que es bastante buena. Esta canción suena como punk. Entonces, ajá. Treasure. Treasure. Y aquí es pleasure. Okay. Pleasure, treasure. Pleasure, treasure. Okay. And here we have uh, the last one that is please. Pero esta se tiene que sonar esta D. Ok. Esta D es importante. Debe sonar como. You can say, pleased to meet you, pleased to meet you. Tampoco van a decir, pleased to meet you. So, pleased to meet you. 
pleased to meet you. ¿Qué es? Como eh, gusto en conocerte, complacido en conocerte. Ok, nice. I need you to uh, pronounce some of them. We're going to start with Gilberto and then Henry. Ok, Gilberto, pick one. Nice to meet you too. Ok, nice to meet you too. Henry, Elvi. Please to meet you. Nice, Elvi, Carmencita. Nice to meet you too. Nice, Carmencita, Adonai. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ok, per perfect. Adonai, Ivania. Please to meet you. Good. Ivania and Douglas. Nice to meet you too. Okay, Douglas, and then we go with Xiomara. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice, Xiomara, Yesenia. Very nice to meet you. Yes, sí. soy Lee. Pleased to meet you. Soy Lee, Luis. Very nice to meet you. Good, Luis, Jonathan. Nice to meet you too. Okay, good, Jonathan and Jose Martinez. Nice to meet you. So um, here we have this. So easy, right? Easy. Ways to say nice to meet you. Y vamos ahora con ways to finish a conversation. Okay? Ways to finish a conversation. I should, should. But aquí me voy a detener un poco. Have you noticed? Tenemos esta palabra. Should. Would. Good. Esta palabra ya las empezamos a ver, ¿ok? Entonces, acá vamos a pronunciarla should. Acá la vamos a pronunciar would. Y acá. Mira. The L and the O, la letra E y la letra O, están, son silent letters. O sea, quiere decir que no la van a pronunciar. Okay. Okay. I should get going. Going. Okay. So should, would, could. Okay. Should, would, could. No quiero que me digan I would, I would. No, I would, would. Okay. Should, would, could. Should, would, could. Así de sencillo. La O y la L son silent letters, so you don't have, you don't have to pronounce it. You don't have to pronounce that, okay? So, uh, I should get going. I better get back to work. It was nice talking to you. La palabra talk, talk, como tiktok. Talk, talking, talking, okay? I should get going. I better get back to work. It was nice talking to you. La primera, mm, ya debería irme. Should, debería, ya debería irme. La otra es, I'd better get back to work. Esta frase significa mm, mejor. Yo mejor regreso a trabajar. O yo mejor me voy para la casa. Y la otra, it was nice talking to you. Fue bonito, fue agradable hablar contigo. It was nice talking to you. Okay, select one of them and pronounce it. LB, and then we go with Xiaomi. Okay, LB. I should get going. Going, okay. So, Xiaomi, and then Carmencita. It was nice talking to you. Good. Carmen, Adonai. I should get going. Nice. Adonai, Gilberto. It was nice talking to you. Good. Eh, Gilberto. I should get going. Nice, good. Fíjense que parecen fáciles estas frases, pero confunden. Por eso les digo que practiquen antes de decirlo. Pero lo, lo están haciendo bien. Ivania and Douglas. It was nice talking to you. Talking to you. Douglas, Jonathan. I better get back to work. Or house. Nice. Jonathan, José Martínez. I was nice talking to you. Good. Jose Martinez and Henry. You'd better get back to house. I'd. I'd better. Mm -hmm. Good. 
uh, Henry and Yesenia. I should get going. Hi, Yesenia, Soyli. It was nice talking to you. Good. Uh, Soyli, Luis. It was nice talking to you. Good. Luis, Emmanuel. I should get going. I should. Emmanuel and Francisco Martinez. I better get back to house. Okay, good. And Jose Martinez, uh, I'm sorry, Francisco Martinez, are you there? Is that por ahí? Todavía voy de camino, teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Eh, muy bien, muy bien. Eh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a pasar la lista de asistencia, pero primero voy a ver los que me dijeron que están de camino. Okay. Ok, comenzamos con Douglas. Hello, Douglas. Are you there? Hello. Okay, thank you. Elby. Yes. I'm right. present. Thank you. Henry. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ivania. Present, teacher. Nice. Jose Martinez. Ok, Jose. Is your order. Emmanuel. Okay, Joe. Present. Good. Gilberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan. Present teacher. Oh, Luis. Present teacher. Oh, uh, Marvin Adonai. Yes, Marvin. Present. 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 Thank you. Nelson. No, Nelson. Okay, Santos. Okay, Chumara. Present. Good, Yesenia. I'm here, teacher. Dr. Soyli. Present. Good, and Carmencita. Present. Okay. So now uh, we go with this. How to use prepositions of place, but uh, here we have some other well, some other vocabulary. Eh, tenemos las prepositions of place para dar indicaciones también de cómo, cómo llegar a, a cualquier lugar. Okay. I'm no. I'm 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 okay, we have near. Tenemos este near. Tenemos este past. Okay. Among significa entre. Okay. Among significa entre. In front of, ya saben que es en frente de. Near significa cerca. Ok. Near también eh, es, ¿cómo se llama? Es un sinónimo de close. Close significa cerrar, ¿verdad? Pero también significa cerca. Por eso estaba close up. No sé si se acuerdan de esa pasta de diente. Close up. Close up significa acercamiento. Esto, ¿verdad? Cuando están grabando y, y se acercan, eso se le llama close up. O sea, es un acercamiento. Entonces, de tarea. Past significa pasando. O pasado, pasando. Okay? Uh, let's see. Prepositions of place. Uh, I need your pronunciation. Please help me, Luis, in number one. Where is? Where is the part located? It is located among many places. Places, yes, it's located, located among many places. ¿Dónde es el parque? Localizado, no, está localizado entre muchos lugares. Good. Yesenia, number two, where is? Jesse, Yesenia, okay. Uh, I guess she's having problems. Elby, please, where is the sport palace? Where is the Sport Palace located? It's located on Barrios, Barrios Street in front of the park. In front of the park. Good. That's nice. And here we have also Xiomara. Where is the mall? Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Near the restaurant. Está cerca. Cerca del restaurante. Good. 
And now we're going to listen to Gilberto. Church. Where is the church? X locator pass pass the school. School, yes, it's located past the school. Es como está localizado pasando la escuela, okay? So now we're going to check. Vamos a revisar acá. Sorry, okay? Do you remember this map? Si se acuerdan de este mapa, verdad? So here we have this. And eh, la primera, ¿dónde está el parque? It's located among many places, entre muchos lugares. Aquí está el parque, okay? Among many places, okay? Number two. Uh, Sport Palace, this is located on various streets in front of the park. Okay, here we have uh, various streets. Okay, in front of the park. Okay. Now, let's see. The mall, the mall, donde esta? Dice near the restaurant. The mall, yes, can you see? Near the restaurant. Good. Okay, and here we have also. ¿Dónde está la iglesia? The church is located past the school. ¿Ve? Es como ve pasando, pasando. Aquí ve, pasando la escuela. Ah, aquí está. Okay. Can you notice uh, this another form or different ways to, to say the directions? Okay. Así que las palabras son among, in front of, near and past. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Entonces tenemos complete the conversations using preposition from box. Okay. Vamos a utilizar siempre este mapa. Okay. So I will select some of you. Luis, select one of these four sentences. Number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh, necesito ver la imagen. Estamos hablando de Sport Palace and the Bank. Aquí está. Sport Palace, yes. Aquí tenemos esto y tenemos the bank. Uh -huh. In front of. Uh, yes, could it be? Could it near, be? near. Podría ser near, ¿verdad? Porque in front podría ser the mall y el parque, ¿verdad? Pero puede ser, yes, near, está super cerca. Ok, good, near. Okay, for number two, let's listen to Ivania, please. Two, three, or four? Three. Three, okay. Mm. Puedo ver la imagen. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we talk about the restaurant and the first avenue. Uh -huh. The restaurant. First okay. Avenue. First Avenue. <clears throat> Seria. In front of. Podría ser. Podría ser. Podría ser in front of First Avenue. O también podría ser along. Along significa a lo largo de. Okay. But you can say in front now. Okay, good. Thank you. Three and four. I'm sorry. Tenemos three and four. And for three and four, I will need some help from Adonai. Three or four. Ah, no. Sería two or four. Four. The church and the city hall park. Church and the city hall. Huh? In front. Yeah, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Church and the City Hall are in, front of, in front of the park. Good. Okay, nice. And we're going to listen to Soily. Okay, number two. The City Hall. Mm -hmm. The City Hall, the church, and the book work. Okay. City Hall, church, book work. Among. Good. Yes. Among. Among. Okay. Thank you. Next. Then we continue. Okay, Cindy. Thank you. 
Would you like to be famous? Le gustaría la fama, el dinero, and some other things. Oh, es una novela, salud, dinero, amor. Okay, so would you like to be famous? I'm going to ask in this time to Jose Francisco, are you there? No. I need a time teacher. Okay, okay, I'm going to give you time, no problem. Jesse. Okay, Jesse, ¿qué se me hizo? Se me esconde Jesse. Creo que necesito tiempo también. What about Xiaomi? ¿Qué dice Mara? Tell me, yes or no. Would you like to be famous? No, I don't like to be famous. Oh, why not? Okay. Because I'm very shy. I am shy too. También soy callado. Yes, but I don't like teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, sometimes we don't be the center of attention, right? Oh, right. No, I don't. So that's like the you. point. That's the main point. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Okay. okay. And now, what about Adonai? What about yes. you? Would you like to be famous? Yes. Why? Because yes. I would like to have my own jet. <laughs> and I would travel to many countries for dinner. Yes. Okay. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to yes. Germany for dinner. Londres. And you go with Answer. Okay. Why not? Good, <laughs> good reasons. That's a good reason. Okay. What about if we listen to Emmanuel? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, my friend, tell me, would you like to be famous? Why? Yes. Yes, because I consider that it's very fair to be very famous. It could be a lot of benefits. For example, I could get a lot of money uh, if I, I, I get my own thing uh, to improve my life and also to I could try uh, whatever country if yes. I want. Yes, that's true. You can do a lot of things because we need some money to do the things that we want to do. Okay, thank you. Cindy, hello Cindy, are you there? Hi, teacher. Te caíste, sí. No. Porque estabas en el suelo ahí. So. Okay, good. No. So tell me. <laughs> Are you ready for the question? Yes. Yeah. Okay, would you like to be famous? Uh, no, because I don't like to be famous. Okay, you don't like to be famous. Okay. You don't want to be like in the public, public age. Good. Okay, we go, uh, let's see. We have a speaking activity. Tenemos esta speaking activity. Carmen, siento que estás haciendo. Okay, speaking activity. So here in this, we have this profile. Mira, tenemos este perfil. Okay, I need you to help me one by one. Okay, the first name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Okay, Mauricio Quintanilla. So what about if we have some help? Luis, tell me, office? Office. Uh-huh. May. Office, May phone. Okay, tell me, 72. 7203916. Six, four. Okay, nine. Yes, nine, one. Good. And now let's listen to um, Gilberto. Workplace. Workplace. A road. Technology. Technology. Company. Company. Good. Now that's it. Carmencita. Address. Address. On Roosevelt Street, 
and First Avenue, number 853, 53, Santa Cecilia, East East. Okay, uh, what about Ivania? Job. Job position in software designer. Okay, and what about here? Department production. And let LB ID. Dime el ID. ID MQ 1083.59. Okay. ID significa identification document. El ID puede ser el DUI. ¿Ok? Eso es bien común, el ID. ¿Ok? So, uh, it can be, también puede ser, ¿cómo se llama? Como el badger, ¿verdad? Como que tenemos ahí el identificador. Ok. So, here we have name, office main phone, workplace, job position, department, address, and ID. Necesito que esto, uh, si gustan, tomen la captura porque le van a preguntar eso a su compañero. Okay? What's your name, your workplace, uh, office main phone, job position, department, address, IT. Todo esto tiene que ser inventado. Okay? I need you to invent fake profile. Vamos a inventar. Si ustedes se quieren llamar... Uh, Anastasia, whatever, you can invent your name, nombre. And here we have also office main phone, que es el teléfono de la oficina, okay? Here we have also workplace, el workplace es como, es la compañía, ¿verdad? La compañía, job position, en de qué trabaja. Department, ¿se recuerdan de los departamentos? No del Salvador, sino marketing, human resources, production. Eh, accounting and finance ok todo eso, una dirección solo digan el, el departamento y el ID me van, el ID necesito que lo hagan con dos letras igual que esto, ok, necesito que lo hagan con dos letras y por lo menos unos cuatro números o seis números, ok so that's it, I'm going to pair you, lo voy a poner en parejas and Escriban en write information, ¿ok? Of your classmates. No comiencen todavía, lo voy a organizar porque a veces ustedes se emocionan y comiencen, hola, que no sé qué, ok. So, wait, esperemos un poquito. Okay, see you.
office phone number uh, 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 is uh, 23 23 44 44 62 62 one zero or oh, ten, ten, ten one zero okay sería ten workplace um instrumental instrumental okay instrumental job position what is your job position finances Ah, pero sorry, sorry, es job position. What is what? Uh, my 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 workplace is soluciones. ¿Dónde, perdón? Soluciones. Soluciones. Yes. Okay. What is your job position? My position is graphic design. Graphic design. Design. Okay. Um. What is the uh, what is the department? Mm, mm, department is marketing. marketing. Okay. Where is that? Where is that? Pero la dirección dijo que no, no creo. ¿Cómo? También la dirección. Sí, pero solo el departamento. ¿y solo el departamento puede ser San Miguel San Salvador. Ok. ¿Qué es tu número? ¿Sí? Eh, ¿70? Seven, sí. Three, four. Three, four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Three, four, nine. Three, okay. four, nine. Four, nine. Okay. El my phone no te lo di. Ajá, el my phone. Okay. Eh, Seventy. 78 Three seven. Three seven. Okay. 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 Basu. Nay O'Neill. O'Neill. Ah, uh O'Neill. -huh, O'Neill. Okay. Office May phone. Twenty three. Mhm. Mm Sixty one. Okay. Eighty three. 55. Mm -hmm. Okay. Workplay NASA. NASA. Okay. Address Avenue Manuel Arce, 63 House. El eh, numeral, ¿cómo se dice numeral? Numeral, numeral. Avenue Manuel Arce. Avenue Manuel Arce, 63. Hashtag. Hashtag pueden ser. 
Ah, hashtag. Hashtag. Okay, you can. Hashtag. Three. Hashtag. General manager. General okay. manager. Ah, general manager. Sorry. General manager. manager. Y el depart eh, department. Human resource. Recursos humanos, ¿verdad? Okay. What is your position? My position is um purchasing. ¿Cómo? Purchasing. Okay. Sí, soy Liz, se refiere a purchasing, ¿verdad? Compras. Sí, ajá. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Good, sí. nice. What the department? Department, ah, uh, pues me confundí. Bueno, mm. Department mm. is, department is purchasing. Ah, ok. Uh, En yo position tiene que ser lo de las ventas que me dijo sale y el otro workplace es lugar de trabajo. Ajá, en position puede ser salesperson, manager, supervisor, uh -huh. accountant. Solo workplace me faltaría. Solo workplace. Uh -huh. No puede ser. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to ask some of you some information that you have. Voy a preguntar algo de información que ustedes tienen. Okay, so tell me, Jesse, what about the name of the person that you were talking to? I talking with Carmencita. Um, I said, uh, only two, two types of information. Solo dame dos tipos de información de todo esto. Seleccionado, la que te quieras. Uh, okay. Yes. Her name is Maria Aquino, and her workplace is instrumental. Okay, nice, good. Now let's listen to Soily. Select two types of information, department, ID, job position, name, depends on you, two types, okay? Dos tipos de información de todas. Dos tipos de información. Her name is Rosa. Okay. Um, her, her, her phone number uh, office is yes. um, is um, 24 uh, 16 and uh, nice, nice 17 okay perfect good now let's listen to Xiomara and then Luis okay Workplace, industria es la constancia. Okay. Job position, operator, machine. Okay, good. Thank you. Luis, and then Ivania. Uh, work, workplace, in base, USA. Job position, general manager. Okay, embassy. ¿A qué nos dé la visa entonces a todos? Nice. Ivania, and then Henry. Es cualquier, ¿verdad, teacher? Lo que tú quieras de todo ahí, no me vas a ir con. Ok. <ríe> okay. Yes. Address Avenue Manuel Arce, 63, Hashtag Street. Ok. Um, nail o Nail. 
Okay, good. Henry, and then we go with Elby. Henry. Naime. Hi. Me escucha. Yes. Naime, Naime, Rocío. La ah, name. Okay. Name, name Rocío, last name Quintanilla. Of the main phone, uh, 2216, uh, 06, 23. Thank you. Very nice. LB, and then we go with uh, Emmanuel. Address AB Spain, San Salvador. Yeah. ID UM01166. Perfect, good. Emanuel, eh, creo que estuviste solo, ¿verdad? No sé si se te conectaron los demás porque estoy viendo los demás. Si no, dime dos tipos de información de las que tú podrías eh, dar, ¿ok? No, and then Gilberto. I couldn't because the... Ok, creo que tienes dificultades con el internet. Ok, pues espera un momento. Eh, Gilberto, please. Haití. Ajá. Sete. Ajá. Eighteen. Nineteen. Good. Thank you. And now let's listen thank, to. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Douglas, are you there? Yes, teacher. Please go ahead. And then Adonai. I met uh, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Wow, good. Okay, uh, the workplace is at Chicago Bulls. Okay, that's perfect. Very interesting. Thank you. And Cindy, and then we go with Emmanuel. Cindy. In que de vuelta anda, Cindy. Cambiando los audífonos. Ah, pero sé que las tortillas. Okay, Cindy, go. Workplace, Amanda Salón. Uh -huh. um, the position oh, good, thank you. What about Emmanuel? Now, Emmanuel, are you ready? Then I don't know. Okay. Yeah. The name is Rodolfo Celaya, the workplace, <laughs> Alianza Football Club player. Okay. And the okay. Position is good. Okay, good. Oh. Well, well, famous people. Adonai, are you there? And after Adonai, we go with uh, Soily. Job position, inventory planning, mm -hmm. ID, I, IG7349. Okay, good. Soily, ya pasaste. Sí, pero puedo pasar otra vez. Ah, calmate, está repitiendo. Voy a ver qué deja sin comida. Okay, uh, no, yo creo que pasamos con la mayoría. Good. Now let's move. Vamos a avanzar. Read the police information. Uh, bueno, ya tenemos esto. Uh, look, here we have this. Four types of direction. Dos, cuatro tipos de información. I need to read one, one and one. And then we're going to uh, identify what place is. Vamos a ver uh, cuál, de qué lugar están hablando. Okay. So, here we have this map. Again, bank mall, all this, okay. So, Emmanuel, select one. Ah, antes que nada, antes que nada, Emmanuel, okay. Vamos a ver cuál es la dirección de esto, okay. On Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, Santa Cecilia, okay. Bien, lee cualquiera, lee. Selecciona uno. The number one. I okay. Pick, I pick up. It is located in front of the mall on the first avenue. In front of the mall and first avenue. In front of the mall and first avenue. ¿Qué lugar tenemos ahí? In front of the mall on first avenue. En frente de, de esto. Tenemos... Yes, we have the park. Tenemos el parque. Ok. Aquí, lo que tenemos que buscar es, look, tenemos que buscar esta empresa donde trabaja Mauricio Quintanilla. La empresa se llama Arrows Technology Company. Arrows Technology Company. Ok. 
O sea que es esta. Arrows Company. Esta es. La, la que dijo Emanuel era el parque. Mm -mm, it's not this. Okay. So let's listen to some others. What about if we listen to... Soily, select one. Ya dijo la primera. El number two. Okay. It, it is located across First Avenue in the restaurant. Across First Avenue. Across First Avenue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Behind the restaurant. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yo creo que... Aquí está, ¿ver? Behind the restaurant. Ok, good. Ahí está. Esa es la, dire la dirección correcta. Ok. Pero por efectos, para leer y todo eso, okay. vamos con las demás. Carmencita, place number three. Is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and book what? Between the restaurant and the book world. Between the restaurant and the book world. Yo creo que esa es la... la ¿Verdad? On Roosevelt Street, between the restaurants and Bookworld. Esa es la, la dirección correcta. ¿Se dan cuenta? ¿Ve? Yes. Ok. Good. Y vamos con la cuatro. O sea que la respuesta correcta es la, la tres. Pero vamos con la cuatro. Cindy, it's located. It, it, it's located along Roosevelt Street between the City Hall and the Park. Ok, along uh, Roosevelt Street, next to uh, Roosevelt Street, mm -hmm. City Hall and the Park. Mm -mm, no, no es acá. Ahora, estoy escuchando, ¿verdad? Que algunos, no todos, pero algunos me están diciendo lo que, 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 Located, ¿verdad? Located. La T lo están diciendo bien porque suena como R, no R, R. Pero es located. Todo lo que tiene T y se le agrega ED, que sería un verbo eh, que regular. Por ejemplo, transmitir, transmitir. Eh, quiero ver. Tenemos otros verbos que serían, por ejemplo, polluted, polluted, transmitted, located, ¿verdad? Todo termina en id, id. Es un verbo regular que está en pasado. Más adelante vamos a ver eso, ¿ok? Good. So, now we continue. Ya solo quedan 50 minutos. Esto va a pasar, pero rapidísimo, más que ya es viernesito. Of course. Question. Who has had? The most influence in your life. And why? ¿Quién ha tenido la mayor influencia en tu vida? ¿O quién ha influenciado más? And why? ¿Y por qué? Here I have some examples. So, estos son ejemplos. My mother. Because she gives good advice. Mi mamá porque ella da buenos consejos. Or my grandfather. Because he is a good worker. Porque él es un buen trabajador. Okay. So let's listen to some of you. So tell me about who has had the most influence in your life. In this case, we're going to start with Elvi. Okay, Elvi, tell me. Hi. Hello. Um, you, uh, my mother. Okay. I, ha I have always admired her. Um, her working cheese. She is my inspiration. Okay, admire. I have admire. always admired okay. her. Yes. Okay. Good, because moms are workers. Always, siempre son trabajadoras las mamás. So we admire our moms. That's true, yes. Elvi. But good answer. Now, what if we listen to Xiaomi? Okay. Tamara, tell me. My grandmother. Okay. Because he has a fire woman and she works all the time. And she, she educated me in the best way. Well, it's the same to me, igual que a mí. My grandmother educated me. 
So grandmothers are like stronger, son como más fuertes las abuelitas. I don't know why. Oh, yes. they, yeah, they are they are like that. So, but that's good. So she is uh, the most influence in your life, okay? Good point for you, thank you. What if we listen now to Emmanuel? Okay, Emmanuel, your turn. Okay, in my case, uh, my father, because he gives me a uh, kind of job how, how I can learn how to get money in my life. Yes. Well, in, in your case, your father gave you like the ability te dio como herramientas, te desarrolló la habilidad, ¿ok? So, you can earn money, and that's one of the best things in life, lo mejor que pueda haber, ¿ok? Te enseñó a sobrevivir, good. So, now you can survive because of him, ¿ok? What if we listen now to Carmencita, ¿ok, Carmencita? Ok. Uh... My brother-in-law, because he has been a spiritual guide for me. Okay, a spiritual guide, right? Una guía espiritual, eso te refieres, right? No? Yes. Okay, yes. Your brother-in-law. Tu cuñado? Yes. Okay, that's it's interesting. Extraño. He is a pastor. Ah, okay, that's why. I imagine that he has a lot of wisdom. I know that he has a lot of wisdom, right? So he has oh, studied yeah. the Bible and he has lived different things. I've lived many things. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting, Carmencita. Good. Thank now you. let's list. Yes, yes, Carmencita. Tell me. Good. Uh, Henry, what about you? And then Adonai. Uh... My mother, because she is very hardworking and with values. Okay, yes, moms are always hardworking. And the best of the best is the values. The values that now you have because of your grandma, your mother. Okay, perfect. Good, Henry. Nice for you. Adonai, and then we go with Soily. Yeah. <laughs> My dad. Okay. Where the fire all win and try has fun to be a good man and guide give us an example of behind a good human behind. Okay, yes. Remember that some people they pass away, they pass a mejor vida, but we have their memories and we have like the lessons. Tenemos las lecciones que nos han enseñado. So Nice. Despite significa a pesar de. Despite a pesar de. Good. Nice, Adonai. Good for you. And now, Soli. Hello. Then Cindy. My mother, because she gives her leave uh, if necessary for me. She is the only one who advise, advise me, which in the best for me, the love of a mother and children is true love in life. Well, nice. If you notice, there are like a mixture. Es como una mezcla de muchas cosas, okay? Advice, love, verdad, que hay amor, hay consejos, okay? So there are good things. Well, there, it's like a very nice relationship that we have. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. And Cindy. Uh, my parents, because they are very hardworking. Yes, they are very hardworking, and we learn to be like them. Aprendemos a ser como ellos, right? Because they are like example for us. Son como ejemplo para nosotros. Good, nice. Okay, we're going to continue later with the with the rest of, of your opinions. That all of your opinions are important. You already know. But here we have conversation with Ken with number two. Okay, so this is going to be a really short. Va a ser un poquito corto esto. But first, let me, let me show you. Okay, the conversations with Ken. Tenemos las conversaciones con Ken. Three and four. Can you notice number three is kind of large, but four is short. 
La número tres es un poquito larga, pero la cuatro es corta. Are you good at cooking? I can't. Cuando veamos can't, con T, recuerden pronunciar la T. I can't cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah, I can't cook either. So, are you good at computers? I'm very good at computers. I can make websites and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Muy bien, acá les dice, ¿eres bueno cocinando? No puedo cocinar muy bien, le dice Amy. Solo puedo hacer cosas básicas. Oh, bien. ¿Qué puedes cocinar? Puedo cocinar un omelette. Puedo hornear galletas. Eso es todo lo que puedo hacer. Mm, bien. No puedo cocinar tampoco. ¿Se acuerdan del either? ¿Verdad? Tampoco. So, are you good at computers? Así que eres bueno en computadoras. Mm, soy muy bueno en computadoras. Yo puedo hacer sitios web y puedo escribir software. ¿Puedes reparar mi computadora? Puedo reparar una computadora. Genial. ¿Puedes reparar la mía? Puedo intentar. Fix significa reparar, arreglar. ¿Ok? Fix. Number four, que esta es cortísima. Are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repairs. If... Yeah, what sort of things can you do? I can do a lot of things like change the tire and change the oil. Oh, that's great. ¿Eres bueno con carros? Soy muy bueno. Recuerdan que pretty significa bonita, pero también muy. Soy muy bueno con los carros. Puedo repararlos if significa sí, pero no de respuesta, sino que es un condicional. Puedo repararlos si necesitan eh, reparación. Ok, repairs. Yeah, what sort of thing? ¿Qué puedes hacer? Puedo hacer muchas cosas como cambiar el neumático, cambiar el aceite. Oh, es genial. Ok, continuamos con la pronunciación. Can't, can't, basic, basic, bait. All, either, websites, software, fix, try. Y las últimas, pretty, if, repairs, repairs, sort, change, tire. Ok, necesito que tomen una captura y después vamos a una actividad de listening. Después vamos a escuchar, eh, pues, un listening que tenemos rato de no escucharlo. Okay, I need to have a screenshot. Necesito que tenga una captura de pantalla. And we're going to practice it like in three minutes. Vamos a tomar unos tres minutos para practicar. Okay. Here we go. Aquí vamos. See you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento. Vaya. Ahí te la de enviar. Computer. I I'm very good. I computed. I can make. I can make. I can make website. 
I am I am pretty with good with cars. I can fix them if they need repairs. Yeah, what sort of things can you do? I can do lots of things like change the tire and and change the oil. Oh, great. That's great. Okay. Inicio la, inicio yo la tres. Mm -hmm. sí. Are you good at uh, cooking? I can't cook. Are you, are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repairs. 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 Ah, repairs, perdón, repairs. Yes. Yeah. What sort of thing can you do? I can do looks of styles like change the tire and change the oil. Oh, that's great. Ahora comienzo yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Are you good at cooking? I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah. I can't cook either. So are you good at computer? I'm very good at computer. I can make website and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. I can try. ¿Cómo se dice ese? Try, try, try. Try, creo que. Sí, se try. dice try. Yeah. try. I okay. can try. Como llorar. I cry, pero con T. Try. Try, ok, thank you. Gustavo, Raquel, todavía no llegan a sus casas. So, I guess you have some problems with... Maybe the transportation. Okay. So we're going to wait for some. Ok, we're going to wait for the others. Vamos a esperar un poquito por los demás. Any volunteers for conversation 3? Algunos voluntarios para la conversación 3, que es la más extensa, ¿verdad? No sin antes uh, recordarles: can't, basic, bake, all, either, website, software, fix. Try. Okay. So, any volunteers, voluntarios, algún valiente, any brave? ¿Quién se anima? Oh, bueno. Okay. Varios. Wow. Demasiado poder. Okay. Let's listen to Emmanuel. Then, Soyli. Bueno, ahí están. Okay. Good. Vamos con Emmanuel primero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Gilberto, are you here? Alberto, are you there? Sí, por ahí. 
Comienza tú, please. Okay. Okay. Are you good at cooking? I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all. I can do. Yeah, I can't cook either. So, are you good at computers? I very good at computer. I can make website, website, and I can white software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay, what if we listen now to Soily? Con quien iba Soily? Who was your classmate? Conmigo. Okay, try. Three or four, la que ustedes quieran. Adelante. Tres, Cindy. Okay. Okay. Comienzo. Are you good at cooking? I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh yeah, what can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can make cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah, I can cook either. So are you good at computer? I'm very good at computer. I can make website and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Okay, I can try. Good. Me gusta que ya están captando. Esa, hay unas palabras que son un poquito avanzadas para el módulo 2 o 3, pero ya las están viendo. Okay, I like it. Well, tenemos Elby. ¿Cree que me ayudes con the four? Conversation four, Elby, please. Okay. Henry. Okay. ¿Con quién ibas? Henry. Okay, Henry. Showtime y Henry. No, hombre, la rega. Okay. <laughs> Conversation oh, four. De modo, de modo. Yeah, ni modo. Vamos. Are you Number good? three or four? Ay, four. vean, depende de usted. ¿Cómo Number estamos? three? Ay, Henry, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dale, pues. Number three. three. Okay. Well. Are you good at cooking? I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah. I can cook either soup, either soup, or are you good at computer, computer? Computer. I am very good at computer, computer, computer. I can make website and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix me computer? I can try. Okay, I can try. Good. And me ayudan Yesenia con la última. Number four. Very nice. Bien hecho. Jesse, please, number four. Okay. With Carmencita. Okay, Carmencita yes. and Jesse. El dúo dinámico. Okay. Okay. Are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repair. Yeah. yeah. What what sort of things can you do? I can do a lot of of uh, things like change entire and change the oil. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Good. Lo hicieron muy bien. Considero que en estas 19 clases lo que llevamos hasta ahora 
ya tienen más fluidez, considero que tienen más confianza, todos en general. Hay algunos que sí se nota que han practicado un poquito más. Hay algunos que quizás han descargado aplicaciones para estar practicando, otros que han seguido quizás mis consejos, los han eh, hecho, digamos, con más frecuencia, como escuchar canciones, ver películas subtituladas, leer, ver una noticia en inglés, leerla, grabarse, por lo menos leer unos dos minutos cada día. Todas esas cosas van ayudando, suma, todo eso suma, ¿verdad? Ok, so that's good. I really like, eh, me gusta ver que sí hay un avance. Okay, in these 19 classes, I cannot just puedo notarlo. Okay, we go to listening. Vamos a un listening que tenemos tiempo de no escuchar listening, right? So here we have a chart. Tenemos un cuadrito. We have profiles. Tenemos perfiles, okay? We have name. Okay, let's see. We have name. We have phone. Workplace. Address. Job position department and ID. Este, este es listening si está un poquito más cargado. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characteristics. Seven types of information for every profile. Okay. So I need you to draw. Necesito que dibujen, verdad? Es, o por lo menos anoten la parte de arriba lo que tienen que este, escuchar. Voy a hacer una prueba de audio. Okay, let's go with number one. I'm going to play it two times. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, let's listen again. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256. 9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and 1. Okay, now let's go with number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berry Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, again, number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berry Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, let's go with number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79632154. I work in a bank on various streets and First Avenue. I am an accountant. 
I work in finance. My ID is ES96890. Okay, listen again. Number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 7963-2154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES96890. Okay, and now let's go with number four. My phone Sorry. number is Otra vez again. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in book work company. The address is on Second Avenue in Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN. 51159. Again, number four. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN 5159. Okay, so now it's time to compare. Vamos a comparar for number one. Does anybody have number one? If you have it, just let me know. Tell me. Raise your hand. Or tell me. Levante la manita. Alguien que tenga number one. Que creo que estaba un poco práctico. Ese estaba. Era de los más tranquilos, I guess. Okay. If not, if you don't have it complete, si no lo tiene completo, pueden decirme algunos um, name, workplace, address. A veces es difícil tenerlo, pero podemos. Number one, you, her number is Fabiola. Uh, Fabiola. Okay, vamos a ver si no es Fabiola. Bye. Fabiola. Is any, algo más? Or George's name. Bueno, si no, solo el nombre. Good. Eh, soy Lee, and then Luis. Ajá. Twenty, twenty-two. Five, six, nine, seven, eight, nine. Good. Okay. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Eh, Luis, do you have any other information? And May is Gabriela. Okay. And nice. the department is Human Resources. Good. Human Resources. Nice. Okay. Does anybody know the job position? Alguien sabe la, la, el trabajo de ella? Nobody? Okay. It's a secretary. Yes, it's a secretary. Good. And what about ID? Alguien tiene el ID? Okay. Address, address. Okay, the address. Um, Second Avenue, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street. And Roosevelt Street, good one. Thank you. Emmanuel, tell me, do you have the ID? Uh, it's easy, sir. Zero six, zero three, one. Yeah, good one. Okay, so here you have it. Gabriela, alguien me dijo Fabiola. No sé en quién estaba pensando, pero es Gabriela. Se parece un poquito, ok. Phone number 2255-9789. Workplace is City. Ah, nadie me dijo eso. City Hall. Trabaja en la alcaldía esta mujer. Address. On Second Avenue en Roosevelt Street. Job position. Secretary. Department. No, department. Department. Human Resources. And ID. GT06031. Nice. What about number two? ¿Qué tal del número dos? Que ese sí estuvo un poquito más rápido. Right? 
Your name is Marcela. Ah, her name, su nombre. Her name, sí, porque si no sería mi nombre. Her name is Marcela. Yes, it is Marcela. Good one. What about... She is cashier. Her is cashier. She is cashier. She is cashier. Ah, she is cashier. Yes, es una cajera. Es cajera ella. Good. Any other? See on me, okay? She works in sports sales. Okay, she works in sure. sports palace. Sport palace. Ah, sport palace. Está inventando, uh -huh. <laughs> no, Okay, yes, good. Okay, who else? What about she, the number? Mm -hmm. The department is customer service. Okay, yes, customer service. Yes. Okay. Creo que se le quedó ahí, tuvo dificultades, Emanuel. Ok, what about phone number? ¿Alguien anotó el número? Oh. I have it. Please, go. Uh, 6253 41 32. Yeah, that's the attitude. Good. Ok, and what about the address? Does anybody catch the address? Ok. If not, no problem. Okay, I'm going to present it here. In front Mars. of the park. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Marcela, 6253-4132, Sport Palace on Berry Street in front of the park. In front of the park, you have this woman. Cashier, customer service, and the ID is DM14408. Okay, good. Now, with number three, este sí estuvo tranquilo, number three. Okay. What about number three? It is Melissa. Her name. Her, Her name. name is Melissa. Oh, decimos she is Melissa. Okay. Her name is Melissa. Yes. Her job position is accountant. Accountant. Yes, accountant. Okay. Escucharon la pronunciación de accountant. Dice. Okay, uh, good. Who else? Her, her workplace is bank. Yeah, her workplace is a bank. Perfect, good. And we her have all, yep. Her department is finances. So her finance. department <laughs> is finance. Yes, no me estás inventando ese, no, y sí, está diciendo la verdad. Number five. Ajá. 79, Excellent. Solo que 79 con N al final. No, lo dijiste bien. Solo la N, Elvi. Okay, Te comes okay. la N. Ok, solo okay. eso. Good. Ok, what else? Lo último que nos hace falta es ID. Y el address, que creo que nadie me lo ha dicho. ¿Alguien tiene el ID? Ok. Y 96. Ok. Y yes. es. Yes, 96. 96. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. Ya había escuchado Melissa, ok, Elisa. 79-963-2154 Bank. Yeah, she works in a bank. And her address is on Berry Street and First Avenue. She's an accountant. And she works uh, in the Department of Finance and the ID is ES uh, 9660. Uh, I'm sorry, 96890. Good. And the four, number four is the easiest, es el más fácil. Vamos a ver, ¿qué tenemos en el four? Is, is Dennis. Dennis, good. What else? ¿Qué más? Uh, his job position is salesperson. Thank you. His job position is a salesperson. See on me, what else? And the phone number is 7926. 6167. Excellent. He, he works in a book work company. 
Cooper Company. Good. The, the address is on Second Avenue Street. The department is Sales Department. Okay. And the ID. And yep. N51. And one Yes, good. Solo en un número, si o mi. Un número fue que me dijiste en el 78. Es. Solo eso. El resto estuvo perfecto. Ok, Dennis, 78. Creo que me dijiste 79, creo. Ok, pero good, bien hecho. 26, 61, 67, Bookworld. He works in Bookworld Company. And his address is on Second Avenue. And Roosevelt Street, a job position, he's a salesperson, similar to LB. Okay. And she, he works in sales in the Departamento de Ventas. And his ID is MN. Fíjense bien. MN, no, MN. MN 51159. O pueden decir 59, como ustedes Okay. Very nice. Este audio no estuvo tan fácil. I know. En general, los cuatro. Pero. Pueden notar cómo captan. Y si algunos me dicen, teacher, pero si yo solo capté el nombre, teacher, pero yo solo capté el department o job position. No importa. Ya están identificando palabras. Y eso es lo importante en el módulo 1. Que identifiquen esas palabras. Ya en el módulo siguiente ya tenemos que ir beyond. Tenemos que ir más ahí. ¿Ok? Good. Y si se dan cuenta, uh, tenemos acá City Hall, Sport Palace, Bank, Book World, si tenemos estos lugares, no son, son estos. ¿Ve? Aquí tenemos, uh, let's see, Book World, Sport Palace, Bank, City Hall, aquí están, ¿verdad? Son los mismos que hemos estado practicando. Eh, si se preguntan de quién son estas pronunciaciones, son otras maestras que son eh, buenas amigas mías y si se dan cuenta su pronunciación es bastante buena. Solo que algunos lo hacen, yo les pido que lo hagan más rápido para que a, y aumente el nivel de dificultad. Si lo hacemos todo lento, sería aburrido. Ok. Who has had the most influence in your life? Nos quedan nueve minutos. Nine minutes. And for this, I'm going to listen to Jesse. Ok, Jesse, what about your opinion? I think that are my brothers. Okay, my older brothers because they they are an example for me of example of superation. Okay, nice. Oh, so, yes. That's the advantage of having older brothers. La ventaja de tener hermanos mayores, right? Good. Thank you. And what if we listen to Luis? Okay, Luis. Who has had the most influence in your life? Uh, my uncle, okay, uncle, uncle, mm -hmm. my uncle, uh, because she, he guys, he gives book emissions. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, give me money and food when, uh, when, when has 12 years old. Wow, really. Interesting. From 12 years old, desde los, desde los 12. Wow. It is kind of very hardworking person. Okay. And let's see now. Thank you, Luis. Let's listen to Gilberto. What about you? Yes. Please. Why? My mother and my father. Okay. Because. She give good I buy for the experience in his life. Very interesting. Mother and father because of uh, the experience, okay, in their life. Good, Gilberto. What about Douglas? Are you ready, Douglas? Yes, teacher. And then Ivani. Please, go. Uh, my parents because they they taught me the way I have to live and and they show me how I, I have to work okay. to be a good person. 
I agree with you. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, basically that's it. The way how uh, you can live. Ivania, and after Ivania, we go with. Yes, with Ivania. Contigo sería Ivania. My aunt, sister of my father, because she has four families. She has advised me, um, giving me a lot of love. Even though she's far, far away, she's always looking out for me. Okay, interesting. So, muy, este, muy acertado, okay? La hermana de tu papá, dices, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Very interesting. Thank you. And let me see. Bien, eh, como ya se nos va a acabar un poquito el tiempo, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Necesito que me pongan un minuto de atención. Es importante, it's important that el mensaje que recibieron ahora de Jimmy, eh, de inglés corporativo, es que la vamos a hacer eh, la encuesta final el lunes. Lunes, lunes, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer esa encuesta final. No la hagan antes porque necesitan información que yo les voy a dar. Y les voy a explicar cómo es el formato. No es difícil, pero necesitamos hacerlo así. Y en el video debe de quedar reflejado de que hicimos esa encuesta todos juntos. Ok. No falten el lunes, por favor. Es necesario hacer esa encuesta junto con el facilitador. Es vital. Es importante para pasar el curso. Ok. Para pasar el curso necesitan asistencia. Necesitan tener la cámara activada la mayoría del tiempo. Hacer las tareas. Hacer los exámenes. Hacer la encuesta. Ok. Así que eh, básicamente el lunes es el, el último, la última clase que ¿okay? ya vamos a tener vacaciones y este, espero que también se hayan inscrito en el módulo 2, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando se termina cada módulo, vamos con un siguiente módulo y así vamos avanzando. En cada módulo se tienen que inscribir, tienen que hacer el mismo proceso porque se necesita la confirmación de que ustedes están, van a estar al 100%. ¿Verdad? Con, con, con este programa. Les recomiendo que el fin de semana hagan todas las tareas y hagan el examen final para que el lunes ya no tengan problema. ¿Ok? El fin de semana, mañana, el domingo, dediquen tiempo, así el lunes, que los lunes ustedes ya saben cómo son de difícil. Los lunes son complicados. Entonces, el lunes en la noche necesito pasar esas notas. Hay algunos de ustedes que ya hicieron el examen final. Congratulations. Pero hay otros que les hace falta el examen final y las tareas de la unidad 4, háganla el fin de semana. Así yo el lunes empiezo a pasar. ¿Ok? Preguntas, questions. Porque ya estamos terminando. Bien. Vamos a tener, eh, vamos ahorita, eh, voy a tener a Yesenia y a Soili. Le voy a dividir la, la sesión ahora. Voy a comenzar con Yesenia, Soili. Este, te me quedas un momento, Soyli y Yesenia se queda, ¿verdad? Bien, el resto, eh, lo que vamos a hacer es que nos vemos el lunes, ¿ok? Eh, descansen, viernesito, ¿verdad? No se excedan. Nos vemos el lunes entonces, my friends. Necesito, night, necesito avanzar con, con los demás, ¿ok? Bye bye, my friends. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Oh, hello, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, Monday. Lunes. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. Monday. Monday. Ok. Eh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Jesse y, y, y Soily. Voy a, te voy a dar los primeros minutos a ti, Jesse. Y después voy con Soily. Ok, entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Eh, Soily, te desconectas ahorita y cuando sea tu momento, necesito que estés pendiente del WhatsApp. Ok, yo te voy a decir, conéctate ahorita y te conectas y te doy tu tiempo a ti. ¿Te parece? Perdón, ¿Te me, salgo, me salgo entonces. Oh, ¿sabes qué? ¿Sabes qué? Ahí quédate. Y... Voy a retirar un ratito, voy a hacer. Ah, ok, ok. Te sale, yo te aviso, pendiente con el WhatsApp, ok. Ok. Cuando te diga que entres, volvés a entrar, así como entraste a clase, de nuevo, ok. No hay problema. Bien, en cinco minutos te escribo. Bye, bye.
Ok, Jesse, eh, normalmente yo hago dos cosas con los, la sesión y los he dividido porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo y el, 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 o sea, el lunes no voy a tener tampoco mucho tiempo con Carmencita. Así que eh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Si quieres te hago una basic interview, te hago una entrevista pequeña. Porque okay. la otra opción es revisar temas anteriores, pero yo considero que tú has entendido todos estos temas. ¿O tenés dificultades con algún vocabulario, temas en específico? No, creería que no. No, yo creo que tú estás bastante bien. Yo <risa> ok, voy a estar. Permíteme. Es una conversación This bien is corta. Like, a, like an exam. No es un examen, simplemente es una, una entrevista básica. Okay. Ah, no okay. es evaluado esto, solo es para que veas cómo estás y después te voy a dar un feedback, te voy a dar como una retroalimentación de qué es, hay, qué hay que mejorar y todo eso. Ah, okay. Qué hay que mejorar, ok, excelente. Okay. Perfect, ok, good. So, todo en inglés ahorita, comenzamos. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Nice, what's your name? My name is Carolina. Ok, good. My And last how... name is... Please. My, my last name is Quintanilla. Okay, last And name. My nickname is Carito. Carito, okay. Todas las caritas yes. que conozco son malías. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me, how old are you? I am 42 years old. That's perfect. And how do you spell your last name? My last name um, Q U U I M P-A-N-Y-L-M-A. -A. Okay, that's perfect. And what time is it, Carito? Oh, uh, it is uh, uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> wow, interesting. What's your phone number? My phone number is 70, 70, 60-62-44-48. Okay, that's nice. And what's your occupation? I am an accountant. Nice, okay. And now, can you describe two members of your family, please? Of course. Uh, my daughter is eight years old. She's very smart, like me. Ah. <laughs> Excellent, that's the attitude, I like it. <laughs> She's a beautiful, uh, very intelligent, and she likes draw and she likes to play the piano. Oh. And my son is 10 years old, and he, he study five sec, uh, five grade, okay. and she's very smart too. He's very smart, wow, very interesting. I like that. Yeah, congratulations, yes. uh, Carito. Okay, now um, tell me about yourself, whatever you want to say. You can talk uh, about you can talk about your personal information, talk about your likes, what you do in your free time, and you can talk about your family, your house, whatever. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, I'm I am 42 years old. I am married, I have two children. One daughter and one son. I live in Ilopango. I work like a, I work in Grupo Kimbe. I am an accountant. I, in this time, I, I am a study lawyer. Um, this, this year is last year. Um, I am studying English. I am the old person that always It's a study, something, but always. <laughs> go. Uh, yes, and I like dance. I like, I like sing too. And I like cook. I like to know um, some place. I like to go to the, a lot of place, always. <laughs> Yes, nice. I, I, I was born in Usulután. I have 12 brothers. We are a big family. Okay, I cannot. I am, <laughs> yes, I, I am sibling, Gemela, 
No sé si, I don't yes, know what the meaning gemela. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have siblings and I uh, no, like twins. to go to, to twins. Gemelas twins. Gemelas, yes. Ah, okay. Twins, okay. yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And How I, I know that yes, you are Carito. Yes. ¿Cómo sé que tú eres Carito? I know the other. <laughs> She's very equal to me, yes. That's why. Okay, continue. Yes, and I like to go to 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 see my mother all all in the semana all weekend. I, uh, all weekend, yes. Tomorrow I go to Sulutan always Perfect. with my my children and my husband, and we return the Sunday. Okay. Always, yes. Wonderful. Because uh, I like to go to the El campo, what's the meaning campo? Countryside, yeah, countryside. Ah, countryside, okay. I like to, to cow, to, to hens, to dogs and rabbits. My mother have all our types wow, of animals. Wow, a lot of farm, yes, farm animals. Yes, okay. yes it's, it's a farm, yes. Thank you. Okay, I like, you... Hmm? go. Mm -hmm. Ok, we're going to stop until here porque ya te emocionaste y ya empezaste con todo lo que puedes, ok. Eh, ok, ok, you say. Good, carito, eh, vamos con el feedback. Solo una palabra que a mí me gustaría okay. que, 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 que viéramos. Escuché que dijiste okay. some, something. Todas las palabras las pronunciaste bien, pero dijiste something. something, something. Puede serlo con Z something. o con T, something o something. ¿Sí? Something. Eso, something. Lo que something. pasa es que... Something. Okay. Ah, es que lo que pasa es que el something, something. es bien común y uh -huh. es bien común. Incluso yo lo decía como estaba aprendiendo. Something. Uh -huh. Y después hubo una corrección. Your English is really good, ah, okay. eh, Carito. I guess you have taken some uh, English courses in the past because you have a very good fluency. You have very good vocabulary. That's nice. ¿Verdad que has tomado cursos antes de inglés? Thank you. Yes. Sí, I noticed. Siempre he estado en el... En el... I want to learn English. Eh, de This hecho, ya sabes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I consider that you know, but in the ah, basic okay. level. Tú ya sabes inglés, pero obviamente okay. hay ciertos niveles que vas a ir mejorando. You, tú ya tienes la habilidad innata. Ya traes. Hay otros que desarrollan esa habilidad. Yo ah, todavía la traes, okay. solo hay que potenciarla. Así que espero, no, hay, no, no voy a hacerte correcciones ni nada, Carito. Simplemente continúa, aprovecha esta oportunidad, ¿ok? Y ya vas a ver que de aquí yes, va, a yes, va, a pasar, yes. va a pasar rápido el tiempo. ¿Ok, Carito? Ah, pues eso es todo. De sí, aquí no hay sí, nada que gracias. corregir ni nada. Adelante, okay. ánimo. Okay. So, Thank you, gracias. Okay. Sí, on Monday, te veo, reportate bien. Yes. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye. Okay, Soyli. Hello, hello, Soyli. Where is that, Soyli? Okay, Soyli. Hello, teacher. Apareciste. Okay, vamos, Soyli. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Soyli. Eh, siempre hago dos cosas con, con, con la sesión. Reviso un tema o hago una entrevista. Yo considero que contigo tengo que hacer mejor una entrevista. Básica, okay. corta en inglés. ¿Estás de acuerdo? Sí, claro. Ok, todo va a ser en inglés. Comenzamos. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am very fine. Nice. What's your name? My name. Good. How old are you? I am I am 50 years old. Perfect. And what's your last name? My last name is Alvarenga. Good. How do you spell your last name? A L V A R E N G A Perfect, nice. And what time is it, Soyli? Uh, it's um, it's ten. 
It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, good. And now, what's your phone number? My phone number is 72 seven, seven, nine, seven, eight. Ay, que se me, se me olvida, espérenme. Ya, inventate <laughs> otra, no hay problema. I can be wrong. Okay, good. Ay, que se me, así se me olvida, se me olvida. Okay. Seven, two, seven, eight, seven, two, seven, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Okay, that's perfect. And now, what's your occupation? My occupation is licenciada in clinic laboratory. Okay, good. And can you describe? Yes, yes, so tell me. Uh, no, it's, it's the me profession. My okay. occupation, my occupation is um, administration microbiology, microbiology lab. Wow, very interesting name. Good, uh, so uh, can you describe one member of your family, please? Okay, my my first my first son is um, the mechanic. Okay. Um, he he is uh, he is studying. Um, okay. he is married. Good. With uh, with Guadalupe. Good. Um, he he is uh, twenty seven years old. Um, he's 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 tall. Uh, he's he's thin. Um, your hair your hair is his hair his hair. His, his hair, el pelo. Su his pelo, hair, su cabello. Okay, his hair, the color is black. Okay. Um, he has, he has a car. Okay, thank you, Soli, very nice. Okay. Okay, now tell me about yourself, whatever you want to say. You can talk about your personal information, you can talk about your family, your house, your favorite uh, pastimes or free time activities, whatever you want to say, tell me about yourself. Cuéntame sobre ti. Oh, okay. I am a person is is very uh, tranquila. No sé cómo se dice tranquila en inglés. Calm. 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 Um, uh, I am I am divorced. Divorced. Um, mm -hmm. I'm divorced. 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 Okay. Uh, I, have, I have two sons. I love very, very a lot. Uh, they they are my, my life. Okay, good. Um, my mother my mother lives in Chalate. Good. My 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 birthday is uh, September three. Uh, I work I work in McCormick. Um, can I, can I, can I, can I, I live in San Salvador. Okay, interesting. Okay, Soli, very good. And now tell me what what do you do in your free time? Um, I, I'm making, I'm making the report. Okay. Okay, good, Soily. Okay. Bien, solo vamos a hacer una pequeña corrección, Soily. I am a person is. Cuando estás hablando sobre ti, I am a person, en lugar de decir I am a person is, I am Calm, sociable, okay. happy, ya. Yeah. No es necesario que digas I am a person is, o puedes decir es, I am a person who is, a menos que le agregues el who. Oh, okay. Si quieres, puedes decirlo así, como tú dices, I am a person 
who is, soy una persona quien es calmada, social, pero si dices hay una person is, mm, no, no es adecuado, ¿ya? Ok. Si quieres le puedes agregar el who, I'm a person who is y lo practicas. Uh -huh. Soy Lee, tienes un buen nivel de inglés, fíjate, eh, habías tomado curso antes de inglés. Sí, la verdad sí, teacher. ¿En dónde? Hace dos años eh, estuve en la academia europea. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántos módulos hiciste ahí? Uf, llegué hasta como el, como el siete, creo que llegué. Ah, hiciste varios, sí. Es pero, que sen, pero sentí que no aprendí, teacher. Me falta qué? muchísimo, no sé. Porque yo tengo mucho problema con el listening. El listening. El listening. El... Sí, el listening sé que es complicado, pero conmigo has captado ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Algo, ah, algunas. Eh, lo, que pasa, lo que pasa es que uno tiene que ir mejorando esas habilidades, soy, ¿ok? Son cosas que eh, se van poco a poco. Todos tenemos diferentes ritmos de aprendizaje. A veces aprendemos más palabras, a veces mejor con la fluidez, a veces mejor leer. Poco a poco, por eso hay que ir mejorando en todos los aspectos. Yo considero, soy el que tienes el talento para aprender inglés más, porque ya lo sabes básicamente. Básicamente lo manejas. Pero hay que ir subiendo de niveles, ¿ok? ¿Verdad? Así que, con, claro, aprovecha. Yo siento que vas a aprender, vas a aprender. Ya, en, en un año vas, vas a estar hablando bien menos, quizás. Ay, primer, primero, Dios. Ya vas a ver que sí, pero hay que ponerle empeño, el vocabulario que te dan los teachers o lo que te doy yo, agarrarlo, practicarlo, porque esto es de práctica. Esto es como un deporte. O sea, si practicas todos los días, te es buenísimo. Y si no, hoy... Sí, hay, fíjese que... Sí, fíjese, teacher, que yo por eso fue que quise comenzar de cero otra vez. Yo sé que algunas bases yo ya las... Ya las conoces. Ya, sí. las, tenía, ya, las, ya las tenía, como ya recordar, como ya repasar, yo sé que las podía retomar otra vez. Pero como desde que comenzó la pandemia, yo ya, yo ya no fui, ¿verdad? Comenzamos así virtual, pero no me gustó virtual. Sí. Entonces me salí y ya dos años sin practicar y sin nada. Dije yo, no, mejor comienzo a hacer otra vez y más... Más pues tranquila, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, comprendo, comprendo. Ajá. Entonces, este, ¿cómo se llama? Realmente, uno tiene su, su ritmo, soy Lee, así que te, te motivo a que sigas adelante. Espero que te estén gustando las clases, que no te parezcan aburridas. Y que, pues sí, eh, vamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Es eh, bueno sí. irte de nuevo a lo básico, ¿verdad? Vas hacia adelante. Así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Va bien, va bastante bien. Hay cositas que vamos a ir mejorando, pero de eso se trata, ¿verdad? No, y, y gracias, Tiche, porque a usted sí, pues, se le, se le, se da a entender bastante. Y ya me sé alegra. que la clase no está aburrida. Eso es lo más me, importante. Me alegra, veces, me alegra. A veces por el cansancio que nosotros tenemos, pues. Yo entiendo. Labor, no nos ayuda mucho, pues, a veces uno ya está... Soy Lee. Yo entiendo, si yo viera, yo antes de la clase estoy así, pero trato de activarme porque si yo estoy así, ahí no puedo dormir más. No, no duerme, cabal. No, ay Dios, si estoy así todo calmado, ay Dios. Y a veces uno, yo sé, pues, es venir del trabajo, es que es, que es un sacrificio. Pero un sacrificio sí vale la pena si estamos constantes, ¿ok? Soy sí, claro. Bien. nos veríamos el lunes porque se nos acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Gracias. Un gusto de haber estado contigo, Soyli, así que nos vemos el lunes. Última clase, bueno, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Va, pues. Bye. Dale la orden. Bye, bye. Feliz noche. Bye, bye. Bye.